welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, we left off, uh, like this. It's pretty bad, but it's fine. Um, okay. I just want to get a couple things. Uh, we're gonna need these. Where's this connected to the ground at? It's not. Noted. Okay. I might have even left some resources. Uh, basically I just came here to get a couple things that are in this box. Nothing. And we'll take the plushies. And. I mean, none of this. Nah, this is all just stuff. Ugh, gravity. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh! Eh, magnesium. That's not even really worth I mean, like, yeah, I got. It's like gold and silver and stuff. Do we. We probably don't have enough stuff here to fix this thing, do we? I mean, it's. It's like. It's like busted, busted. Um, yeah. Yep. I kind of got everything I wanted. <gasps> oh. That was a big one, that hydrogen bottle. Um. Yeah, I mean, the ship's, like, pretty well beat up. None of this stuff is really worth the wait. So, I think we're just gonna call it good. We might come back here one day. Smile. Oh, um. Now our batteries are fine. Okay, we are going <laughs> to take what's left of our hot mess here and uh, get off of this freaking rock. And hope that we can get there. And then uh, once we get uh, out of the gravitational pull, we are going to jump drive the heck out of here. Oh my gosh, I forgot how long that took. That, like, we're literally passing asteroids. Okay, can we go home now? Space base. close is this going to put us? Oh, right next to it. Beautiful. Oh, we need to shut that off, like, like, fast. Okay. Look at that. No, I haven't made any progress since the last episode. I'm going to do a pretty good size cut uh, in this one probably over a day or two and then I'll uh, give you guys another another big update hopefully you're gonna have it halfway done and probably a little farther anyhow let's get back down to, to the moon here and we're gonna fix this this puppy up because he is hurt and uh oh uh oh uh oh Connector, do it! Oh, thank God! Oh, <laughs> uh, our front connector, helmet. Our front connector was broken. <laughs> Look at that! I planned that. No, um, our front, uh, our front connector is broken, and we don't have any reverse thrust. I learned that. Um, well, I learned that just now. Oh, man, what a mess. Uh, I had this idea. Uh, so every time I needed to move the build and repair system, I would tear it down all the way. And just move it one piece at a time, and, you know, I'd have to unload all the materials. Uh, why, why didn't I just do this? So I tore it all apart for the last time, hopefully. And then, uh... I built it free-floating as a ship, and uh, now what I can do is I put a magnet plate on the end of it so I can connect it for power.
power. And I'm just going to kind of, hopefully this works, I'm just going to ease it on over to where it needs to be. Ugh, breaks. Yeah, getting this just right might be a pain. Oh, the elevation is not going to be right. But, oh my gosh, my brain's not firing on all cylinders at the moment. Okay, so we just got to bring her in here. Very gentle. My uh, gyro is not a happy camper about this. Okay, can we go up? How much room do we have to go up? About that much. And let's rotate and then we'll uh, scoot, scoot, scoot. Did it lock? It's locked. Okay, then we just disconnect and uh, I think I need to turn them on. I didn't turn them on. Uh, uh, on. And I set them to nearest first. Eh? I figured it out. It just needed a battery. I should have known that. I just... I figured since it was attached to the grid that had power, it wouldn't need a battery. But since it's a ship and this is a station, I guess, yeah, okay. Fine, whatever. Alright, so in my seemingly uh, endless journey in uh, <laughs> gathering materials for the space space, uh, this needs a little bit of refinement. So I knew this was a problem when I did it. This, these, these two rockets slowly cook these. And then I don't notice they're broken until I get to where I'm going. So I want to redo this a little bit, and I also don't like how these are protruding, because it just makes it that much more of a pain to mine with this thing. And the ones on the bottom, I have snapped these off more than once. So I think what we're going to do, um, kind of work to plan out in my head. I think I have a connection point. Yes. Okay, so we're going to take one of these. We're going to put it right here. Uh, I use this to go get iron quite a bit. But I also use it to get ice. Because I just don't want to fly this thing very far. Which is why I'm just punching holes with it right here. It just makes it a lot easier. Okay, so... And I'm probably going to put more drill heads on this. Maybe. I'm thinking a 3x3 three three is what I'm going to do. Okay, we got that one, fine. Let's take this one. Put it right there. Don't cook me, please. Ooh, okay. And then I'm gonna grab this. And put it here. The ship's gonna be ugly. But practical, that's what I'm good at. And we'll fill it back in. So I think that's what I want to do for the forwards. So take that off. And take off this and this and this and this. Put that back. Okay, and then I guess I could put the sideways thrusters right there. Originally I was going to move the batteries, but this might, that actually probably work better. Yeah, this is looking better. Um, yeah.
Yeah, so I think that's better. So now I'm not going to be cooking anything that shouldn't be getting cooked. Yeah. And then... Yeah. I mean, I, I could... Mm, I don't know how far the reach is. I thought it was three blocks. I'm not sure. Ah. Okay, well... She's a little ugly now, but that's okay. She's functional. I'm going to reset all these groups, and I think I'm going to add... I'm going to see if I can throw, like, six more drills on here, but I don't know how much our thrusters can take. All right, I'm going to do that. Okay, so I decided to uh, just add three more drills onto the front, so we have a grand uh, total of six for the moment. And I'm over here at a spot where I was getting iron. I know it looks kind of weird. Hold on. We gotta get down in the shadow. So we can see. Come on, game. There we go. Um, okay, let's... Ah. Let's go over to this one. How are we doing on the bottom? Oh, we're doing great. Okay. Let's just scoot in here. Yeah, I think this will be a lot better. Um, I might add... Oh, we're going to turn on our uh, stone dispenser here too. Stone ejector. I think this will be better. Uh... <laughs> The jump drive is kind of annoying. Uh, occasionally, I kind of just jump out with the hand tool. Like, I'll, I'll park it like this, and then I'll jump out and cut the roof away a little bit. But right now, we're doing okay. But uh, I've been coming here to get some iron. Not, not very much. I contrary to how okay i've gotten quite a bit of iron from here but it doesn't last very long um you still can't see the space base i'll show you later but uh we're coming along we're we're at a point where i still need to make about two million more plates but we're uh we're cruising i need to figure out how to shut this smoke off the dust from the mining it's so intrusive it's kind of annoying you just can't see in third person at all and most of the time you can't see in first person all right what are we beating up here nothing kind of eh, we're hitting the bottom of the drills okay well i'm gonna call call this good on iron for right now because I really need to go get ice. Um, let's shut the ejector off. And I'm back out of here. Shut the drills off. Very gently. Actually, we can just get some ice while we're right here. Oh gosh, we're at 910,000. Okay, let's call it good. I mean, we have more weight and we have more cargo capacity now. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. Oh boy, we are moving a little slow, but this is actually a pretty manageable speed. Slowing down is the hard part. I gotta focus on that. I've been trying, instead of uh, drifting into the spot, I've been trying to just go over the spot and then dropping straight down because I've crashed more than once into things. Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! Oh gosh. We're only going like four meters a second but it felt really fast. Yeah we hit. Okay. Work on the descent. Noted. And... Come on. Connect. 
Touchdown. Okay, well, that was successful. All right, back to making steel plates. Is that it? Is that the last block? Oh. Oh, hold on, we gotta go in from the top. Oh, okay, game's hurting a little. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, gotta go down here. And stop. Okay, projector. It's gonna say we're missing one. Three. No, bad. Um, okay, so we're, we're, we're pretty much done. Uh, the projection says it's missing from... It's gonna be from the top half. Uh, the fact that it's missing a couple isn't that crazy. Hold on, this will help. Okay, give it a second. There it is. Um, just one. Uh, no, wait, that's not it. But it's a hole. Um, some of the uh, blocks didn't quite make it into the projection. There's one. And it's actually, yeah, it's probably counting. There it is. Is that it? Hold on. Oh, squeeze. Uh, control BS off. Now, projector one, perfect. We're done. Well, <laughs> we're uh, we're done with the shell, anyways. Um, <sighs> okay. Uh, how many <laughs> how many blocks is this station at now? One hundred eighty-seven thousand. That's that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Plus, these are extra, so we'll tear this down. Um, where's our exit? There it is. Okay, so we're looking good. Uh, the next, the next, the next plan is to probably make the uh, hatch at the bottom to let the ships in, and then. Well, I'm still deciding. I don't know if I want to put it on the bottom or if I want to put it on one of the sides. Probably put it on the bottom. And then uh, the cockpit area is going to go at the top. But we got some work to do for that. I've got some planning and some thinking that needs to happen. Uh, let's... Z oh. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Um, I haven't been doing a very good job at recording lately. I captured a uh, pirate ship. It wasn't anything too exciting. Obviously, I just flew up to it and ground down the turrets and then uh, kind of reclaimed everything. So it's just kind of chilling right here. I don't know what to do with it yet. Um, yeah, so that's just hanging out. Other than that, if we shoot down to the to the moon base here, man, look at that thing. Uh, I'm hoping it works fine in in the survival world here. I did manage to fly it in creative mode in my little test world. I just used a couple uh, big hydrogen thrusters, and that did the trick. I think we might try some hydrogen thrusters, though. Or not hydrogen, uh, ion thrusters. Like, we'll try the big ion thrusters and see what that does. Just so we can run it off of electricity, because I'm going to put some solar panels on that thing. But, as you can see, I have made a slightly big hole. Oh, hold on. Okay, there it goes. 
So uh, I've worked I've worked this area out pretty pretty sizable. Um, I came down this way just so I could punch and get some ice, and that <coughs> excuse me that made a tremendous difference. And then uh, just for fun, I came down here and I, I punched some more holes to go even deeper yet. But this doesn't even scratch the surface of the moon. I was like, oh, it'd be kind of cool to use this to go all the way through the moon, but oh my gosh, the amount of material I would have to remove to use this configuration, oh, it would take forever. Like, it's 20 miles thick, and I think at the at the bottom of this, it's, uh, I kind of use that US, that UDSB beacon. Yeah. Um, we've, we've gone point two of a kilometer so yeah not good that would take too long anyways I cleaned all the iron uh, almost all the iron out of here I think this sections clean yeah so now it's it's going off this way but I think it ends right here and then I started to go up this uh, way with it health low. and it, it goes up which is a complete pain in the butt so I might have to come, I don't know if I'll even keep doing it at this point, but I'd have to like just eradicate this mountain to make it easy. But kind of a pain. Other than that, uh, we, we now have our big space ball. The shell is now done. That was the, the most daunting part of the task. So now we can start working on the fun stuff, which is uh, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I've had to expand our our base storage just going off of the stone and only using the steel lately. I have been uh, I've been compiling quite a few resources. Hold on here. We should probably stop. We should probably stop the uh, steel plate production now that we don't need uh, tens of thousands of them. Or, I should just say millions. But, now I have to kind of start figuring out... I have some ideas, I've done some testing, so I have some pretty good ideas of what I want to do. And I don't know what color to paint it yet either. I know there's a little dot hanging out right here on the screen. Right, right there. I can't get rid of that. Maybe if I use the ship. Anyways, so we got to start figuring out uh, what I want to do, where I want to put stuff. But I also don't know what color to paint it. Uh, I do have all of the, uh, pretty much all of the textures and the paints now. So if you guys want to, like, recommend anything, we'll go from there. Maybe we can even try and do a custom paint job. I don't know. I don't really want to paint it to look like the Death Star. Kind of do, but at the same time I don't. I kind of want to do something custom on it. But I'm not sure yet, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But, uh, I would like to apologize. It's been, like, over two weeks since I've posted an episode, and it's mainly just because I wanted to finish the shell before I put another video up. And now, in the next episode, it will be uh, creating contraptions and things of that sort. Uh, this is all gravel storage, by the way. So, uh, what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm going to clean up this hot mess. I'm going to go back to Earth and clean up our hot mess over there, maybe. I don't know. I just probably not having so much around like I had all these pedestals laid out for this grid pattern of punching these holes but I kind of have the space base done now so what I'm thinking is we'll just do things up there and float around and then if we need some kind of material we'll come down with a ship like this or maybe a carrier and then a ship like this to get materials. But I don't know yet. There's a, there's a lot of things I'm still wanting to do. Uh, I just gotta make sure now that this big project's done, I don't lose my motivation. And I keep going. But, alright. I gotta edit this. 
Uh, I'm super excited that we've got this monstrosity finished as far as the shell goes. So uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, I hope you were enjoying the videos. If you have any ideas, go ahead and tell me, because I'm, I'm all for ideas. Unless your idea sucks, right? 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 Anyways. Okay, that's it. I'm going to end it here, and I will see you guys in the next one.